technology. Technologies sheltered by the sea somehow combined, multiplied, and gave rise to life. For millions of years, Earth's only organisms were tiny bacteria. Some, called blue-green bacteria, slowly released tiny bubbles of oxygen and profoundly changed the atmosphere. Above the clouds, some of this oxygen formed a thin layer of ozone, blocking most of the sun's ultraviolet rays. In this changed environment, new organisms flourished in the Earth's waters. Colonies of green algae produced more oxygen. Then organisms evolved an astonishing variety of forms. Some with shells or skeletons for protection and support. Others evolved complex life cycles, like this tiny crustacean. And the shallow waters of the seas filled with a teeming diversity of life forms. Life's next challenge was to colonize the harsh, dry land. Bacteria were first, followed by algae, plants, and animals. Vertebrates appeared on land, feeding on both plants and animals, and gave rise to larger and larger life forms. Some of them conquered the realm of the air, and others the great open plains. of humans took about 15 billion years. From the beginning, we were explorers, inventors, and technicians. And in a few thousand years, just an instant in cosmic time, curiosity and technology would take us back toward the stars. Since it was launched into orbit, the Hubble Space Telescope has captured images that reveal ever more beautiful and mysterious regions of the universe where stars are dying out. And within the Eagle Nebula, strange towers of glowing gas are giving birth to new stars. In the Great Orion Nebula, Disks of dust seem to be turning into solar systems just like our own. The grand adventure of cosmic exploration is accelerating rapidly, taking us into realms that once were the stuff of science fiction, like the mysterious black hole.
Here, a red giant star is slowly being consumed, its gases swirling into the depths of a black hole. Some black holes may be collapsed cores of very massive stars. With gravity so powerful, not even light can escape them. But they can be detected when they attract and swallow nearby stars. For the first time in our history, we now have strong evidence that there are planets orbiting other stars. Scientists think there could be millions of Earth-like planets in our galaxy alone. If so, do any of them have life? Some radio telescopes search for signals that may reveal the presence of alien civilizations. It's a daunting task. But if one day we should receive a signal, it would forever change our view of ourselves and our universe. Telescopes, such as the giant Keck Observatory in Hawaii, are like time machines, capturing the faint light that has traveled towards us through all of cosmic history. The deeper astronomers look into space, the farther back they see in time. of cosmic explorers. Will the universe go on expanding forever? Exactly how did life arise? Could there be other universes beyond our cosmic horizon? And are there others elsewhere in the universe asking the same things? Even to ask such questions is ambitious. But look how far we've traveled since our ancestors took the first steps in our cosmic voyage. Man must understand his universe in order to understand his destiny. Who knows what mysteries will be solved in our lifetime, and what new riddles will become the challenge of the new generations. <laughs> 